Hello and welcome to this tutorial where it is all about you. And what do I mean? We're making a keychain with your name on it. Now, maybe you're not as selfish as I am and want to put somebody else's name. That's fine. Let's go ahead and put this. Let's change the name to, I don't know, whose ever name it's going to be and then uh, keychain. So for me, it'll be Adrian Keychain. There you go. Now, here is one of the things. Now, I could, I could, and I've seen students do this, but it, they don't understand until the very end. Let's just put my name to see. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you were to print this and you take it off the printer, all you're going to have is a handful of letters that are just a pile of letters because there's nothing holding them together. So to get a better looking keychain, first of all, I'm going to change the font because this looks kind of like, you know, old. So let's try something a little bit better. Can I get this a little bit thicker? Yeah, that's better. Let me try, let me see this one. I don't think I like this one. No, I kind of like sans mono. You can choose whichever one you want, but here is the deal. To get the best possible look for your keychain, you're gonna have to smush your letters together. So I'm gonna duplicate this one right here and I'll move it over. I'm gonna hit shift and then move that over and I'm gonna change that to the letter D. Lowercase, can I do lowercase here? I cannot apparently. So I'm just gonna put that right there. The thing is they have to be attached in some way, have to be attached. Now I'm gonna choose, oh, I can't change that one. I'm gonna duplicate that one. And then I'm gonna hit shift, hold the shift button and then move it with the arrows. I'm gonna change that to R. I think you know where I'm going with this, right? R. Now that one looks kind of weird. I think I'm gonna move it just a little tiny bit, just a little bit. Let me uh, click on the letter so I can move it over with the arrow. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Okay, now you guys are probably thinking, okay, I know where he's going. Oh, I forgot I needed to duplicate that, my bad. I know some of you are thinking, I know where he's going with this, so I'm just going to skip over to the next part. But here is what I want you to do that's a little bit different. I want you, let me, uh, whoa, there you go. I want you to replace one of these letters with an object, any object, it's up to you. So for me, let me just duplicate this one since it's the same exact letter. Duplicate and shift. And let's do this a little bit there. That's still connected. I'm not sure I, yeah, I want it more connected there. Okay. Um, yeah, replace it with another thing if you can. If not, if you can't think of something to replace it with, I would like you to do something else. Uh, let me duplicate this one for my last letter here. I'm going to hit shift and then with the mouse, move it over. It's going to make that an N. There you go. They're all connected in some way. Now, this one's a little bit off center. I think I'm, if I do, will it work if I go move it over with the arrow key? Oops, wrong button. No, it doesn't look right. It just doesn't look right. So I'm going to keep it like that. All right. So this by itself, whoa, that's kind of tall. That would be a very bulky keychain. So let's keep that at let's say five, much better. Uh, don't forget when you have a keychain, you're also gonna need one of these things. 20, is that gonna be fine? Let's see. Well, obviously we need to change the height. Let's click on that, click on that, and let's make that five. So it matches everything else. That's not bad. I may want it a little bit smaller, so I'm just gonna change. Now here's the thing, if I were just to shift and drag this, it would make it less Height. I would think I'll do that anyways. I'm going to shift and drag this over a little bit. But of course, I changed the height. So I'm going to click on the center, change that to five. Okay, good. So far, this is okay. I mean, there's nothing really special about it. So what I would like you to do is pick an object. And I guess it could be a star if you wanted it to. Like you could just put a star somewhere on here. I'm not sure where exactly. And make it part of your background. So for example, you could put it in there, and when it prints, you would see a hidden star. Maybe make it a little bit thinner right there. Oh, but you don't want it to go under this blue part right here, so my bad, let me hit Control-Z. Make it go a little bit right there. So you could put there, I mean, I personally don't like that. I know some of you are gonna probably put a heart somewhere and then just drag it down. And you do wanna make a distinction between the letters and this background. Do you need the heart there? No. And if you change this to lowercase, I know some people would like to put a little heart over the eye. 
And if you have any parts that have like, you know, the little dot over the I or perhaps a little dot over the J, when you, if you're doing lowercase, you need to adjust it so that that dot doesn't just get printed by itself. It needs to be connected in some way. Let's see if we can find any objects in here that would be interesting, fun in games, creatures, tools, oh, electronics, feature collection, shape generators. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Let me just play in here, see if I can find anything. I think it would be fun to have an eyeball right there. But let's see what this looks like. Oh, kind of weird. I like it. So when you're turning this in to me, please, oh, let me just zoom in here because it's not working. Uh, add something to it. I want to see you add something to your name that kind of represents who you are. Now, if I had a pizza on here, I think it would make a lot of sense to a lot of people, but that's, that's me. All right. Don't forget when you are done with yours, I think the eyebrows need to be thicker. When you're done with yours, don't forget to make it into one object or you can send it to me, send it to me by clicking there, go to the bottom, invite people. That's me. Generate the new link copy the link and you're going to open up an email and then paste this link not in the subject line because your subject should say your name or the name of the person whose name tag in it and the word keychain so the name of the person who's who's on the keychain and the word keychain so my subject would say adrian keychain and then the link would be in the body of the letter and have a good day